we felt really good like after the conference win and the conference tournament win and we were really self-confident when we went into our first playoff game and I think for everybody it was like a really big disappointment after we lost like 1-0 because we were expecting that we would like go really far. I think our guys were really upset and I think that uh, they, uh, they felt like they should have done a lot better and because of that I think that they, they really worked hard to get ready for this season. And so it's kind of been a motivator to push them to do the things that they need to do to prepare for this season. I ultimately, I think the team, we, we put that down to a lack of experience. Um, but we're hoping this year that we take that disappointment and turn it into motivation. You know, we had a lot of new faces last year who came in and didn't really know the scene at the NCAA tournament. So hopefully this year we take that disappointment and that experience and be able to uh, strive up and get success this year. Yeah, we don't, we don't feel too much pressure being number 10 uh, ranked in the country. Uh, obviously, we, we recognise the rankings and we obviously look out for them each week to see how we're improving, but uh, the, the rankings don't mean much to us as a team. We like to take uh, each game as it comes. Our expectations as a group are such that uh, it doesn't add anything. I, I think that it's a, it's a measure of respect from the rest of the conference and, and we like that. But we know what we're capable of doing and I don't think that outside forces are going to put any pressure on us. But that, like, there's really competition in every position. I think that's going to help us during the season because the season's really long and many people are going to get injured. And if you have like many people in the second role yeah, and you can bring in them on, that's really going to help us. Coach Roots has uh, done a very good job in recruiting this year. Um, brought in a lot of players in different positions. Um, I thought we had a somewhat good depth last year in the squad, but I think this year it's even better. And um, we'll have guys fighting for nearly every position. And it keeps that like competitive environment in training, which hopefully will uh, factor to the success of the, the team this season. We had some really good players returning down the middle of the park. We've got Jack Watson, who was a first team All-American who can score goals. We've got Speed out wide. Alan Webb is a great winger for us on the right side. Then down the middle with our central defense, very, very strong and uh, we've got a number of players that will end up not playing that would start for any other team in the conference. We've got great leadership. Last year we had a number of mature players that came in but uh, really didn't have any experience at the NCAA level. They were transfer students and now they've had a year under their belt. They can provide the leadership that's going to be necessary for us to be successful. So, you know, we've got quality players coming coming back but quality leadership and I think that, that that'll make the difference. At Lynn we like to get the boys in early and stress to them we have goals and three of them goals is to to win the conference win the conference tournament and overall the NCAA tournament so uh, I think such a successful school and such a successful program I think it, it's expected of us to uh, have those goals so to be put in that position to Go and win it again is, is what we want to achieve and we're expected to do it. So it's not, it's not pressure, it's what we want to achieve as overall as a team.